So before we start the configuration, let's go and understand the laptop policy. If you see here, I have a Cisco switch, which is my layer two switch. And there I'm going to configure three VLANs, VLAN number 10, 20, and 30. And this Cisco switch is going to connect directly with Vigor 3910 router. From Vigor 3910 router, I'm going to connect directly to the internet. So here, what I'm trying to show you here, first of all, I'm going to configure the VLANs in my Cisco switch. Then after that, I'm going to assign each and every port from the Vigor 3910 to different VLANs. Let's say um, one of the port from Vigor 3910, I'm going to keep it into VLAN number 10. And another port, I'm going to keep it into VLAN number 20. And another port, I'm going to keep it into VLAN number 30. So this is, you can call it as a port-based VLANs. So most of the time, we have seen how you are going to integrate Vigor 3910 router with Vigor switches and all. But this lab, I'm going to show it to you how you are going to integrate with your third-party switches. Like you have a third-party Cisco switches, HP switches, D-Link switches, or Huawei switches, how it's going to integrate. So let's go and have a look what is the configuration that I'm going to do it in Cisco switch. So I have already connected my switch on the console. So I just open my putting. Then it's asking you that, would you like to enter the initial configuration dialog? I said, say no. Say enable, conft, host name. I'm going to give you Cisco switch. Then if you see here, do show VLAN brief. Right now I don't have any VLANs. So as per my laptop policy, I'm going to configure three VLANs, VLAN 20 and 30. Now you can see here, to show VLAN brief. So there is a total three VLANs I have configured. So as per my top policy, I'm going to keep three ports. I'm going to keep uh, in each VLAN, there is a two ports are required for me. Just go and have a look here. If you see here for VLAN number 10, I'm going to keep two ports. One for, I'm going to connect directly my PC here on VLAN number 10 for testing purpose. The another port that I'm going to connect directly to on Vigor 3910 router. Similarly for VLAN number 20, similarly for VLAN number 30. So let's go and have a look that. So I'm going to shift the ports now. Interface range, faster than 0 by 1 to 2. Switch port mode access. Then switch port access VLAN number 10, spanning tree port fast. Interface range, fast Ethernet 3 to 4. Switch port mode access, switch port access VLAN number 20, spanning tree port fast. Then interface range, fast Ethernet 5 to 6. Switch port mode access, then switch port access VLAN number 30, spanning tree port fast. Now verification. Now, I have shifted the port number one and two into VLAN number 10, port number three and four into VLAN number 20, port number five and six into VLAN number 30. Now I want to configure the username and password for administrative access. And I'm going to enable the console password for production. So finally, I'm going to save the configuration. And also I need to give you management typing. So right now let's consider VLAN number 10 is my management VLAN. So I'm going to assign the IP address as So I'm going to specify the gateway as my JTAC router. So that's what the configurations I have done at the switch side. Let's go and do it at the router side. So right now I'm going to access my Vigor 3910 with the default IP, which is 192.168.1.1. The username is admin, password is admin. Say login. 
So the first very important thing that I'm going to explain to you how I'm going to configure each and every port into different VLAN. If you see here, port number 9, 10 and 11, they are dedicatedly they are into, into the LAN segment. And if you see here, port number 5, 6 and 7 and 8, they are dedicatedly into the WAN. So in case if you want to change these ports according to your requirement, you just click on the port setup. Then after that, you can able to change. For example, port number 5, port number 6, port number 7, port number 8, by default, they are belongs to the WAN. So I just want to change it as a LAN. You can able to change it according to your requirement. So I don't want to change at the moment. And also if you see here, port number 4, if you want, you can able to change it as a LAN or you can able to change it as a WAN. And similarly, port number two, this port number one and two, if you notice here, these are the fiber ports. These are the SFP plus, which means they are going to support 10 gig. But right now, as per my laptop policy, I require just only three ports, port number nine, 10 and 11. So these three ports, I'm going to shift into different VLANs. Let's say port number 10, I'm going to keep it into VLAN number 10, port number 10, I'm going to keep it into VLAN number 20. Port number 11, I'm going to keep it into VLAN number 30. So I'm going to, before I start my lab, I just want to say off, auto logout, I'm going to make it off. Now I'm going to the LAN zone, then click on the general setup. You can able to see here, by default, the LAN one is there. So now let's click on the VLAN, then enable the VLAN. Now, as I discussed to you, port number 10, my plan of action is that, right now, if you notice guys, port number 9, 10, and 11, and 12, they are belongs to the LAN. Just go to the dashboard and have a look again. 9 to 12 are belongs to the LAN. So again, if you notice here, at the moment, my PC is directly connected on port number 12. So the port number 12, right now, which is belongs to LAN 1. If you see here, go to the general setup. If you see here, the LAN 1. How I know that? Just click on the VLAN. And you can able to see here, by default, there is a LAN 1. So the LAN 1 means this is belongs to your LAN zone. So whatever ports are belongs to a LAN zone, by default, they are going to fall under this subnet, which is 192.168.1.1. Now, the DHCP is enabled by default this. So right now, I don't want to disturb this IP address range. At the same time, I don't want to disturb the configuration for port number 12. So what I will do now, I just enable the LAN and port number 12, I'm going to keep it on LAN number one. And port number nine, as I discussed to you, I'm going to assign a different subnet, which is LAN two. And port number 10, and I'm going to assign the different subnet, which is LAN three. And port number 11, I'm going to assign the different subnet, which is LAN four. Notice here, very carefully guys, try to understand this. Port number nine, I'm going to keep it into LAN two subnet. Later I can change the, the range of the IP address according to my requirement. Because in the DreTech, especially if you notice here, they have configured multiple subnets are there. If you see here, they configured almost 100 subnets they configured. So while you are going to assign the LAN port, what you can do, you can able to assign the LAN port for each and every subnet, you can able to map it. So port number 12, I'm going to keep it on LAN one subnet. Port number nine, I'm going to keep it on LAN two. Port number 10, I'm going to keep it on LAN three. Port number 11, I'm going to keep it on LAN four. And if you notice here, there is a port number two and port number four, they are belongs to a LAN zone. So right now, where I'm going to keep this? Because actually, as per my topology, I'm planning to use only these three interfaces only. Right, guys? So right now, port number two and port number four, I don't want to use it. So in case in future, if I want to use that, then I can keep it to the different subnet. But right now, I don't want to use it. So simply port number two and port number four, also you can keep it in the same subnet, which is LAN one. So right now, port number 12 and port number four and port number two are belongs to LAN one subnet. So that if you connect your PC, either port number two or port number four or port number 12, you are going to get the IP address from 192.168.1 subnet. In case if you connect on port number four, you are going to get the IP address 
for example, so I'm sorry for it. If you connect your PC on port number 9, you are going to get the IP address from LAN 2 subnet. For port number 10, if you connect it, it will come on LAN 3. Port number 11, it will be on LAN 4. So let's go and check. Go down, go down, say OK. Then click OK. Now, do you want to reboot the router using current configuration? Yes. So just I'm going to reboot this. Let's see that how much time is going to take. So open the command prompt and type the ping. See guys here. And one more important thing is that still my PC is connected on port number 12. So I am not going to lose the connectivity. Port number 12 is going to get the subnet called 192.168.1.1. Okay. So right now I'm going to log in with the default username admin. Default password is admin. Say login. Then click OK. So now you have done successful configuration. If you see here, now you can able to see LAN 1 subnet, LAN 2 subnet, LAN 3 subnet, and LAN 4 subnet. So right now, in case if you want to change this IP addresses, you can able to change it. There is no problem for it. It's according to your requirement, you can able to change it. But right now, I don't want to change these subnets. But if you want to specify the name, you can able to specify the name. For example, this is for VLAN 10. Okay. And this is my NAT usage. So in the later session, I'm going to explain to you what is the purpose of routing usage. So let's go and have a look only the NAT usage at the moment. So whatever traffic which is coming through this subnet, so I just want to translate with my public IP and I want to send it to the internet. That's why I'm going to use it as a NAT usage. Now in case if you want to specify the DNS server, you can able to specify it as well. So right now I have a DNS server that I'm planning to give 94.200.200.200, 91.74.74.74. Then you can click OK. Then say OK. Because I just want to show it to you. For LAN 3, I'm going to give you the different uh, subnet. So let's keep continuous ping so that you can able to understand how much time does it take to come back. There you go. So I'm going to log in back again. Username is admin, password is admin. And similarly, I just go to the LAN, click on general setup. So I want to change the description for LAN 3 subnet. So I'm going to give it as VLAN 20. Then I'm going to specify here 4.2.2. Then I'm going to give you 8.8.8.8. .8 .8 .8. Say OK, click OK. So let's go and check how much time is going to take. So it's going to drop the packets, then after that, it's going to come back again. See here how quick it has come back. So let's go to username admin and password is admin. Click on login. Say OK now. And similarly, I just go to the LAN, click on general setup. Then in LAN 4 subnet, I'm going to specify the description as VLAN 30. Then I don't want to keep any DNS server here so that I don't want to reboot this. Okay, in case if you want to change the IP address pool, you can able to change it as well. Okay, and the gateway is the default, which is 192.168.4.1. And if you don't want to enable the DHCP, you can just disable it. In case if you have a, some DHCP servers, maybe you are going to run in your Windows or in your Linux machine or some other servers, you just select this, enable relay agent and specify the IP address there. And in case if you want to start your DHCP range, from maybe I want to start from 50 so that instead of 4.10, you can able to start from 50. So that from 192.168.4.1 to 4.49 is reserved. The IP address is going to start from 
so this is what exactly how it is and you can just say ok now and go back here click on the LAN and click on the general setup you can able to see here VLAN number 10 20 and 30 which is configured successfully so now what I am going to do now first thing I am trying to assign the I am trying to connect my PC on port number 1 but before I'm going to connect my PC on port number one, what I what I will do, port number two, I'm directly connecting on port number nine. Okay, guys. So again, let's go back to my configurations here. What I what I did it previously. Show VLAN brief. If you notice here, port number one and two are belongs to the same VLAN. So my plan of action is that port number two, I'm going to connect on port number nine. So port number nine is belongs to VLAN number 10. Okay, guys. So let's go and see that what I'm trying to do now. So right now, let me connect the cable on directly on port number nine, which is here. And on the switch, I am going to connect on port number 2. There you go. So right now I have connected guys successfully. Now I just want to see here there is a port number 9. It's showing here as a orange color. Why it's showing as a orange color or it's showing as a red color? Why it's showing as a red color? Because my switch is a 100 Mbps switch, the 10 by 100 switch. That's why I can able to see which is orange color. Okay, so I'm sorry, it's in red color. So if it is a port is a 10 Mbps, we can call it as an Ethernet port. If it is a 100 Mbps, we can call it as a fast Ethernet port. So right now my switch is a 100 Mbps. That's why I can able to see the color as red color. And again, port number 12, which is directly connected to my laptop, but I'm able to see here in the green color. So green color is indicating that one Gbps. And again, if you see here, there is a 2.5 gig. So these are the multi gig ports. And what are those multi gig ports? And if you see here, port number three and port number four are belongs to a multi gig ports. So, so we get 3910, it has a multi gig ports as well as it has a 10 gig fiber ports as well. So that's the beauty of this Vigor 3910 guys. And also you can able to terminate up to eight WAN internet connections. You can able to terminate it here. That's the beauty of your Vigor 3910. It's a multi WAN gateway. You can say that. Yeah. So now let's go back again here. Let's check now. So my PC, I'm going to connect it on port number one now. Let's go and see whether I can able to connect on port number one or not. I'm going to connect on the switch on port number one. So I have connected my PC on port number one. I believe now I'm going to lose the connectivity guys. Okay, see here, I lost the connectivity, but nothing to worry. Just open the run and type ncpa.cpl. Then you can able to see here the ethernet here. So I'm going to select properties. Then after that, I select the TCP IP version 4, click on the properties. So there is a static IP address is assigned on this interface. So I'm going to select an obtain IP. Then click OK, say close. Now you can able to see immediately I got the IP address, guys. So let's go and check what IP address I got it. I got it on 192.168.2.10. And my gateway is 2.1. Did you see there? I have started the IP address is from 2.10. So exactly I got the IP address from 2.10. And one more thing is that I don't have internet connection. Let's go and check that. Ping 4.2.2. If you see here, I don't have internet connection because my Viga 3910, I didn't connect to the internet. So now what I'm going to do now, I'm going to connect Viga 3910. But before I'm going to connect to Viga uh, internet connection, I need to access my Dretec router. How I can able to access it? So for that, let me check that I'm going to access through my 2.1, which I configured there. 
right guys because i have connected on lan 2 vlan number 10 right so for vlan number 10 we associate to lan 2 subnet so the gateway which is configured inside the dratec router which is 192.168.2.1 so i am also belongs to the same vlan that's why i can able to access so now i'm going to say admin and the password now i'm going to connect directly on port number 3 my wan interface so before i'm going to do any configuration by default auto logout make it off otherwise if you if your system is ideal for few seconds if you are not doing any configurations automatically it's going to log out so now i'm going to connect to the wan interface so directly so port number three i'm going to connect it guys so where is my port number three which is here so i have connected on port number three so just wait see guys so it's showing as a green color so actually in my home home i'm doing this lab guys so in my home i have a Mm, I have a service provider router from that router. I just connected directly so that I can get one private IP guys Don't get confused for that. So I'm going to get one private IP. Let's go and check what IP address I got it So for that you just go to the online status click on physical connection You can able to see here. I got the IP address as 192.168.254.134 So this is the IP address which I got it from my service provider router so you just consider this is my public IP. Okay. Now just go and see here. Now the internet got started. What's a what a beauty of your Dretec router? You don't need to write any policies or anything, guys. So simply the moment when you connect to the internet, automatically it start working, guys. That's the beauty of your Dretec router. And also, if you want to see the routing table, just go here, click on the diagnostics. Then after that, you just click on the routing table. You can able to see here. By default, when it got the IP address from your local service provider through DHCP, it automatically injected one default route that is pointing to the service provider router. So now I can able to access the internet as well. So let's go and access one of my websites. Let's say www.retech.com. See here, I can able to access it. I can able to check everything, guys. In case if you want to check your session tables, you can able to see it as well. So right now VLAN number 10 is working fine without any issues guys. So let's go and check the dashboard here. So VLAN number 10 is perfectly all right. It's working fine without any issues. So now my second step is that I want to check VLAN number 20. So VLAN number 20 means port number 10. I assign for VLAN number 20. So I'm, I assign which subnet guys. Let's go and have a look see here for lan 3 which is belongs to vlan number 20 so i'm going to get the ip address from 3.1 so now what i will do now i'm going to connect my vigor router okay guys my vigor router on port number 10 okay let's go and have a look here port number 10 so it belongs to vlan number 20 and on the switch side i'm going to connecting on either port number 3 or 4 Okay, guys, on my PC, I will connect either port number three or four. So do the test again. Okay, let's go and have a look now. So I'm going to disconnect my PC. You can see there it's disconnected. And also I'm going to disconnect the Vigor router. I have done that. And now first I connected my Vigor router on port number four. And my PC is connected on port number three. That's it. Now let's go and check what IP address I got it, guys. That's very important for everyone. So how to check that? Go to run and type ncpa.cpl. Then double click on this, say details. So still I didn't get any IP address guys. So now what I'm going to do now, let's disable this and quickly enable it. This is one way of doing troubleshooting kind of stuff guys. So let's go and check what's the IP address I got it. Still it's showing as a two. So what's wrong in there? Let's go and check it. So right now, if you see here, oh, still we connected on port number nine. 
that's the wrong mistake guys yeah so in the router side what i'm going to do i forgot to change the port that's the reason <laughs> no problem guys let's take it out now you can able to see that see that it's disappear because you are not able to see why because you lose the connectivity and connect on port number 10 now i'm sorry for that gun guys see port number 10 is connected now now just wait now I have connected on port number 10. It works fine. I'm sure about it. Let's go and check it now. Check it. Still it's showing to what's the reason? Did I connect on the right port guys? Let's verify it. Yes, now let's check now. Let's disable it and enable it. Now you can able to see here 192.168.3.10 I got the IP and 3.1 is the gateway. Okay guys now close this and now you cannot able to access with 2.1 so i can able to access with 3.1 so username is admin password is admin say login now you can able to see i have connected on port number 10 which is belongs to vlan number 20. let's go and check whether i can able to access the my Direct website or not yes and i just want to see about vpn routers Yes, I can able to access it. And I just want to do the ping, the test. Ping 4.2.2.2. There you go. So, it's perfectly all right, guys. In case if you want to check the DHCP, just go to the diagnostics. Then after that, you can select the DHCP table. Then you can able to see here, the DHCP is for LAN 3, which is started with 3.10. So this is the PC which I took the IP address. Okay. Now let's go and verify. Let's go to the LAN. Click on general setup. And we are going to verify the VLAN number 30. So this time what I will do guys. I am going to shift the ports into 516. Let's shift it. So uh, I have done that. And now I am going to shift at the router side. I don't want to do the same mistake. And I'm going to put this time into port number 11. And in the switch side, I'm going to connect on port number 6. So I have connected now. Let's go and verify it, guys. So open ncpa.cpl. Let's disable it one time and enable it one time. It's very simple, guys. So now it's going to get the IP address from different subnet. You can see here, it started from 4.10 okay guys so now let's open the Dretech website now I cannot able to access with 3.1 I can able to access with 4.1 see here admin admin now you can see here it's showing that port number 11 which is belongs to VLAN number 30 now just go here and test it again now I can able to access the internet as well so this is what how you are going to configure it as per my top policy guys so your Dratech router you can able to integrate with any other third party vendors there is no problem for it because it's a gateway device even if you have a multiple internet connections you can able to terminate it and you can able to do the link aggregation between them so that's the beauty of your Dratech Viga 3910 thank you for watching for sales please send us an email sales at datawise.com